Hello and welcome. In this video I will demonstrate how to use uh, a console application to connect to uh, SharePoint uh, 2013 in this case and uh, get a list of all the lists that are in uh, SharePoint 2013. So to begin I will demonstrate uh, let's um, create a console application with the .NET, .NET framework 4.5 and we'll call this uh, maybe console app sp1 so I've got a standard sharp uh, Windows uh, console application and I will add a reference here to the uh, Microsoft SharePoint assembly, which is this one right here. What this does is it allows you to uh, consume the SharePoint object model in your a console application. So here, let's start by uh, creating a string. We'll call it the uh, site path and uh, we'll give it a value which is the um, path to our SharePoint site and as you can see I've got a blank SharePoint site there's nothing in it yet and so normally I wouldn't hard code the uh, path in the application but for demonstration purposes it's fine so the next thing I want to do is I want to get the um, object model through the site collection so I'm gonna create an SP site object and let's right click resolve this and we'll call this uh, site collection equals to new SP site and we'll pass in the path to our SharePoint site. So now that we have the site collection, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an SP web uh, variable. We'll call this site, which is the site collection root web uh, site. So what does this get me? Well, now I can loop through um, the uh, site uh, uh, variable. Let's do it for each. And I can actually list through all the lists in the site collection. So for now, let's just output it to the console dot right line. And we'll just output the list.title. So that should be enough for us to um, be able to show something. So now the next thing is you, you want to make sure to dispose of both the uh, variables that you uh, created, um, both the site collection and the SP web uh, variables. So uh, site collection that dispose. That way you don't run into any memory um, leak issues. So you've got console that read line just so that it doesn't just run through and we don't have a chance to see it. And that's essentially it. So now if I were to run this, it would give me an error message. Um, and the reason for that is because by default, I've got under the project properties, um, I've specified any CPU. But this is a 64-bit uh, SharePoint environment that I've got here. So I'm actually going to have to switch it over to the 64-bit uh, setting. So let's save it. We'll run it. And if everything goes correct, uh, as planned, uh, we should get a list of uh, all the uh, titles, the um, all the list titles that are in this uh, site collection. 
and here it is. So as you can see, it went through and it uh, output um, all the uh, titles uh, to the screen. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, please subscribe and feel free to leave uh, comments or questions that you may have and uh, more videos to come from the uh, SharePoint development series. Thanks.